Senua. The outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother, Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. In Dillian's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her, banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillian to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. Face to face with defeat. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion. Until Dillian's voice led her to the promise of victory, a sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries, until she found her prize before the guardian of Hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped, not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. Only she could choose, out of love, to live, to go on, and to take us with her.
I know you. It's been a long time. She made a promise to the one she loved. Dead now. But no less. A promise. Not one soul more would suffer as he had. She carries him in her heart. His death, his life, will drive her on. She will forge a purpose from his death. Make meaning from the pain. And then the Northmen came again to our land. Stripping us of our names, our lives, of everything that makes us who we are. Beating and binding, taking us as slaves. These Northmen sail under a blood red side. And one among them they call Master. Senua will follow that sign. She let herself be taken, dragged in chains to their ships, so she can trace the poison to its source, find the heart, and cut it out. Stop the slavers. Keep her promise. But plans can drift off course. begins as it ends, alone in the dark. Pulled by forces dim and vast, fate can stop you cold. A dream has founded with the ship. She must find a new light to steer by and find the next sign. Don't think. <laughs> 
She's ever known half drowned, lost in a world still clouded to her eyes, which she won't yield. She must fight off, as she always has. Remember, we've been to hell before. This is only the beginning. Climb somewhere. draw her onward. The ones who didn't live. The ones she could not see. She can hear them calling. Lives stolen by the Northmen. She carries them with her. Just to die among 
strangers. You! Why did you come back? Did you think you had left me behind? I am always here. I won't listen to you! Her voice thought she'd left it in the past. Her father. He clouds her mind with fear, but she won't stop. Stronger forces drive her on. Way. The signs are leading me. They brought me here. She knows that all through this world there are signs and symbols waiting to be discovered. The meaning is there. If only you could find it. Out of hell you have come, and now find yourself in Midgard, the world of man. Do not think it any less dangerous for that. Your path has taken you far from home, across the boundless sea, and you must go on to the heart of this place, to the heart of man. Follow him, but be careful. They will kill you this time. Like they did to her. On the cliff. You were too weak to help. Follow him. Be ready to fight. She is a warrior. A warrior with no sword. No weapon. She came here with nothing. What good are you to anyone with no weapon? He will kill you. He will.
remember why we came here. She came here for a reason. But now she doesn't know what to do. You don't know where you're going. The plan is impossible. You have lost our last. The enslaver, the master, is gone. I have to help you them. thought you could stop this. But you had lost your mark. The sea saw him away. Just like your hopes. You don't need to listen to him. You know this now. Listen to us. You know better. Find the survivor. He is trying to trick you. You need to help the survivors. They are dead, like your mother. Hey, shut up! Like Make him shut up! Oh, stop it! the 
survivors. <laughs> Don't listen to the dead, just move onwards. Yeah. Find the survivor. Find somewhere to hide. Yes, 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 yes,
something dark. What are you going to do with that sword, girl? He looks ready for you. He is ready to fight. You're ready. We will end this. You're fucking dead. Ah! I could kill you if you wanted to. You are fucked. I Ah! 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 
She knew the path would open to her. A blood-carved stave, a salt sea falling, a too familiar darkness, an endless night. He is the next sign. What is it? 